on it is October 14, 2018. Well, yeah, the world is getting more and more insane. PG&E warns it may shut off power amid red flag fire conditions in Northern California. Many counties in Northern California, you may not have power starting tonight into Sunday or even into Monday. Pacific Gas and Electric Company warned it's going to have to shut off your power if it gets windy. You heard that right. If it gets windy. Why? Well, wind knocked down a power line and caused the Napa Valley fire. So now they want to protect you. And they're going to shut off the power if there's wind. My God. How can we just sit back and allow these people to do this? It may shut off the power overnight, Saturday into Sunday, possibly Sunday night to Monday morning when winds are expected to pick up. What are the counties? Napa, Sonoma, Lake, Sierra, uh, Placer or Placer, Placer, I don't know, uh, Nevada, Butte, Yuba, Plumas, Amador, El Dorado, Calaveras, and Alameda County. You could experience out outages. Oh, it's not a popular thing with the customers, but you know, we have to protect you from fire. Utility line that falls in a windstorm without any power surging through it will not spark fires like those a year ago that caused death and devastation in wine, co in wine country. Um, So, I'm sorry, I thought I read that wrong. Um, <laughs> well, this is what we're living now. Okay, we had wind. We, we've had wind. I think we've had wind pretty much since the start of uh, life here on Earth. Yeah, wind. And our power lines are, are electric and gas companies clearly have uh, a, a structure, an infrastructure that is so vulnerable now to wind, uh, to weather that they have to shut off the power before events occur. I, can you not see the insanity of this right smack in your face? What drives me crazy is that so many Americans will just say, well, they want to prevent fires. And didn't you see all of the fires that occurred and so many people lost their homes? I'm glad PG&E is doing this because I don't want to lose my home. And they have no clue because they refuse to do the research to learn that those fires were deliberate. Why are they deliberate? Well, they have to convince you of climate change because they want to make the trillions of dollars that they will make with all of the uh, carbon taxes and the fines and the fees that they will be leveling upon you should you, I don't know, use too much electricity or, or dare to not cut some brush around your house and it's also Agenda 2030. So uh, Agenda 2030, United Nations plan implemented around the world and for the United States we will have mega regions, no longer states, just mega regions where everybody will be controlled and I'm not going to go into detail if you don't know what I'm talking about then I hope that you do some research on Agenda 2030. There are countless videos on YouTube. You don't even have to read. People have done the research for you. 
Just put in Agenda 2030 and you'll find out why all of this is taking place. And I said all of that because I do get comments from people who don't, who get that the weather events, you know, Hurricane Michael and, and even the fires were caused by directed energy weapons and I'm not sure about Hurricane Michael being caused by directed energy weapons, but my God, something very, let's say, odd happened there. So they understand that man is controlling the weather. Man is controlling these fires, but they ask why. They don't. So this is why I've said You've got to get a basis of knowledge on all of these agendas so that you understand the connection between it all. All right. I'll link below to this. If they turn the power off in your area, wow, I hope that you're furious. <laughs>